Welcome back guys to some more racing on Project Cars, a game of the year edition here on this channel. Now in today's video we're doing another awesome race and base setup, but on a vehicle that's been requested but a few times for you subscribers. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. Plus guys, there's news about a new game that's coming out soon. Well that's actually two new racing games that come out. We've got a set of Corsa in August and now we've got Gran Turismo Sport in November. Both going to be shown on this channel very, very soon. I cannot wait for both of them. Right guys, there's also something else that I wanted to say. Um, when I got the Game of the Year edition, I noticed there's, there was these track variations here, these of these little short circuits in the USA, but I never got around to trying them out. Um, I've been told they're really good fun for like the smaller vehicles like the supercarts and that. We may do some races around them very, very soon here on this channel. Right, let's get into the race and base setup in today's video. Now, this vehicle's been requested a few times, but I just uh, hadn't had time to get around to it, so I thought we let's do the video today. And I've... I've tested this vehicle around quite a few tracks and uh, it is very very good i like it it's the aston martin racing v8 advantage gte now a lot of you guys do a lot of racing on online in gt3 cars so this one is um and could be another one in your uh, collection and try the setup because it's it works for me i've tried it a few times and it's an absolutely brilliant setup i will show you the setup at the end of the video and uh, we're going to try and do this around a circuit that I haven't done in a while as well. Let's mix it up in today's video. But also, guys, let, give me some feedback on the, the setup if you use it as well. And, and let me know how you how good you think it is. Because um, it's nice to know whether other people do use these setups um, in these videos I do. Right, let's choose a circuit that I haven't done in a while. Um, we want a medium-sized circuit. I haven't mucked around with the, the gear ratio. So this is good for short and long circuits. Actually, I haven't done Dubai um, Autodrome um, International in a while. So let's do that one. That's quite a decent circuit. And let's just adjust this. We'll put it down. It's a longer circuit than we normally do in these videos. So we'll put it down to six laps. But we up the AI to 95. Yeah, we put it 95. We start at the back of the, uh, the grid as well. We'll try and win the race uh, with this setup. I don't always uh, win the race in these videos. But I try and show you how good the car is and how stable it is. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can have another good race. And I might show you a few clips of the best bits if we have a good race. Right, let's get straight into the racing. So here we go. Right, guys, so here we go with the race and base setup in today's video. Now, this um, setup is good for controller and steering wheel. Just give it a go, guys, and let me know in the comments below if you use it, what you think. But let's get in today's race. We need to get a good start. We're starting at the back of the grid. So we're going to need to get a good start. We've got a bit of wheel spin there, but not too bad. Let's see if we can take a few cars off the mark. And I think we're going to. Let's see if we can get into that first corner in a decent position. But we're going to have to be careful. The uh, AI are really aggressive uh, at the start of these races on this level. And they, uh, they might uh, try and knock me off around this first corner. But let's try and hold the middle. We've got a car either side. And we managed it to get through that first corner. And that car nipped up the inside. God, did that was a dangerous pass. But like I said, the AI are really aggressive. So you've got to be really careful. Let's try and get a good line through this corner. Trying to avoid that car. I can see a car in my mirror to the left just trying to go around the outside of me let's try and hold him off no he's not going to get me and i've managed to get a decent drive around the corner oh actually that was an awesome drive now we're going to maybe take a few more cars yes we're going to get a decent decent speed around that corner and look we're really cane it down the outside of that car can we get into the slow corner and try and slow it down but this is a really difficult corner when you've got cold brakes and we get into that corner oh god that wasn't too bad we managed to hold it but we've got to wait until our uh, brakes and our tires are up to temperature before we really start pushing it and to go into corners at, at that sort of speed but we managed to pull it off but uh, so far we're showing you how i am showing you how good this setup is now if you've used this car in default settings it wasn't great and this setup has improved my racing in this car and just give it a go guys i think you may improve your your racing on line as well you may win even more races but if you do let me know and if i've helped you that's brilliant but let's see if we can at least get a podium place in today's video i don't always win these races on these base setup videos it is just mainly trying to show you as a stable setup for each vehicle that i show um hopefully it will improve your uh, racing in this vehicle and like i said just give me some feedback but let's see if we can chase these two cars down. If we can win the race, that would be brilliant. But if you watch my last race that I did around Brantac GP, I started at the back of the grid. I got right uh, behind the first place uh, car into the seventh lap because it was an eight lap race. And then I made a mistake and I didn't manage to win the race. But I still managed to show you how good the setup was on the car. And that is the aim in these videos. If I can do that again today, that would be brilliant. But we need to start improving because the cars in front are starting to pull away. See if we can go through these corners a bit quicker now. We are starting to do a little bit more grip, but we've got to be careful we don't overdo it. And oh god, we sort of overdo it. You've got to be so that is a there's definitely a corner 
on the circuit you've got to be careful sometimes you can go through there and the wheels slightly go off and you won't get a, a, um, a warning but sometimes you do that was a little bit uh, I, I just went in there a little bit too quick but hopefully um, we can start improving and we won't be doing that once we go up to maximum temperature but we are starting to close the gap down hopefully we can get close to that car in front into the next couple of laps because we need to get past him if we want to win this race we've got to get close to the car leaving the race at least into the fifth lap or we're not going to win this race in today's video but uh, hopefully we will start seeing the times drop and uh, the car improving sector to sector as i've started uh, getting um into a rhythm i haven't done the circuit in a while not in a gt3 car anyway so uh hopefully i can get into a rhythm it normally takes me a couple of laps to start to feeling where i can push the car but at the moment i'm feeling quite confident it does feel very stable it doesn't kick out that much it doesn't uh, kick out when you go on the curb as much um it's very very half decent very stable but uh, let's see if we can start chasing down that car in second now we're starting to feel a bit more grip uh, going into the third lap let's see if we can start improving now and really really start pushing this car we definitely need to get past this car in front of us in the next couple of laps if we want to win the race let's try and get through this corner a little bit quicker oh that was a little bit better getting a little uh, bit more speed through that corner getting a nice drive let's really get up his backside and let him know we're there we really want to force the ai into a mistake if we can because they don't like it they really try and hold their position and try and stop you getting past on these tight circuits and it makes it a little bit more fun i mean before when i first played project cars it wasn't that much fun playing the ai but now they respond so much better and you can have some really good and fun races let's see if we can get close to him in this slow corner we're finding the brakes are responding a lot better let's try and get a nice drive around the corner but don't over accelerate on that section because you will feel the back end and kicking a little bit but not too much you feel like it is quite stable even when it does kick out to control the car right we are definitely drawing him in we are, he must know that i'm there we're really trying to breathe down his neck let's see if we can get really close to him going into the end of this third lap and hopefully we might be able to get a pass but we've got to try and take our opportunity when it presents because they don't give you many chances to overtake on this circuit so we're gonna to have to be really really careful i'm really good um in certain corners uh, better than the AI but we're going to have to get close to this really try to get through there and that was quite a good drive through there and we're really drawing him in here let's see if we can get past here and yes we managed to dive up the inside I was waiting for a, a time like that I noticed on the last lap they slightly go wider into that corner and I managed to get past them a clean pass and we're up to P2 that's what we wanted now we've only got one car to chase down and we've got three laps to do it in but uh, we've still got to be a little bit careful that we don't overdo it into some of these corners and make a mistake. I remember my last video uh, when we had that race around Brands Hatch. Uh, I made a mistake on the seventh lap and it cost me the race. So we definitely don't want to be doing that again. Let's try and get nice and close. He definitely knows I'm there. Let's see if we can get nice and tight into this corner. Oh God, it's breaking up into there. Got to pull it over. Got to be careful you don't do that. And again, got a warning. That's really, really annoying that section there. You can't help. Uh, when you go through that section to slightly go on the curb but uh, sometimes you get one and sometimes you don't but you definitely can't afford to get another one and should really start trying to push it in sector at the other sectors and try and be careful through that one next time we don't want to get uh, disqualified especially not in a video where i'm trying to show you how good the handling is on this car with this setup but uh, we've got um, we've got uh, just over two laps to do it in i'm sure we're going to get an opportunity at some point but we're going to have to improve on our time um, we were probably slightly slower through that sector that's waiting for the split time yes I thought that was slightly slow but only just but we're definitely going to have to improve on the next lap if we want to overtake this car it's I've got about a second lead let's try and get nice and tight through here we seem to be quite quick through here slightly quicker than the AI let's get a nice drive up the hill we're starting to pull away from the car behind us so hopefully we won't have to worry about him trying to uh, overtake me again let's see if we can get nice and tight see they slow down they go a little bit to wider on that corner i try and go in there a little bit tighter but you've got to be careful that you do that sometimes because if you go into that corner too tight it's harder to slow the car down and straighten it up to go for the finish straight but um we are definitely closing in on this car we're on the fifth lap let's see if we can try and get him on this lap but we're going to have to really go tight can we get close to him there god i had to put the brakes on there he closed me down there he went really tight into that corner um he definitely didn't want me to pass there let's see if we can overtake him here, here can we take the opportunity oh god we get really close to him now but um he's definitely holding his position again he definitely doesn't want to be in that was a much better corner see that's the sort of speed you want to get through there right in the middle so you don't go off the, onto the curb like i did a couple of times 
but um, it is because I haven't done this circuit in a while I'm, I'm just finding my bearings and now we're on the, the fifth lap I'm starting to find where I know where I can push this car and let's try and accelerate up here trying to really get it tight into the corners and try and get really close but he got a better drive through that corner and he's just managed to pull away but we need to get a little bit closer into this uh, next couple of laps no we've only got one lap left after this one sorry so we've, got, we've only got uh, the rest of this lap and one more lap to try and win this race oh my god this is going to be difficult we've really got to get past him uh, in the next lap if we want to win the race but let's try and get close to him going into this sector we're going to try and get nice and tight up the hill if we can and get a nice drive the car just slightly went wide there but we managed to pull it back really trying to uh, accelerate as much as I can to get close to this car but on this AI level they are really tough they are pretty quick and uh, we're going into the final lap and we're really really close to this car in front of us can we win this race it's going to be really tough I'm going to do my best and we were slightly slow on that sector so um, we are losing uh, a bit of time getting stuck behind this car so we must be running slightly quicker than he is because um, we are getting really close to him and we're having to brake a lot, a lot more than what he probably is. So that's just really trying to accelerate for this section. Can we get close here? Can I pass? There is a decent section here to pass. And he's gone wide again. I'll get past him here. Oh God, just got past him. I took the opportunity and that was fast through that sector as well. I managed to pull it back. We get past him there. He went slightly wide. I went straight through that corner. I passed a few times in a few races on that sector before you've got to take it and it worked so we're into first place right on the last lap now that's try and bring it home but uh, the AI is not going to let it lie there they're going to try and get me at, towards the end of this race so I've got to try and just be really careful I'll block off all the opportunities so they don't try and get past and try not to let them bump me out either so let's try I can see him right behind me he's not he didn't like that overtake he's going to try and bite back if he can let's just try and hold it and try and win this race we're on this on the sixth lap let's bring it home and we were slightly slow on that sector we probably lost a bit of speed through these these corners just trying to take it a little bit tighter and um slowing down slightly not i don't want to make a mistake because i actually want to win the race as well and that wasn't bad just trying to avoid the car trying to get it up the inside we get into the last corner let's try, let's try and take it nice and smooth i know where they they've seen me overtake let's try not to give them the opportunity try and go through there and uh, he's right behind me and I just went slightly wide but I managed to pull it back stopped him from trying to get out the inside of me there and I win the race oh my god that was really close there and that is the race guys right let's get straight into the base setup right now so here we go Right guys, let's get into the setup and I hope you enjoyed that race as well guys. It was really close on that last lap, uh, but it's really hard to win those sort of races within six laps, but we managed to do it. Right, I'm going to run through this setup. Feel free to pause the video as I run through this setup. And also guys, if there is any setups on any particular cars that you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. And if there's one that's really popular, then I will do a video on it. I want to do some more on the Project Cars Game of the Year edition. Now we've got all the cars, all the tracks. Uh, I'd like to do um, some more videos on it. We've got plenty of time before we've got a set of Corsa and uh, Gran Turismo Sport. Also, we've got uh, Valentino Rossi, the game coming up, and Ducati 90th edition. And they've still got MXGP2 on the channel. There's loads of racing on the channel. I'm pretty sure there's loads to keep you uh, interested. Right, uh, I think we're just coming towards the end of the setup. I hope you enjoy this setup, and I hope it does well for you. But let me know in the comments below, and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.